Yes, I'm placing my VVT in my timing chain, so I went and uh, actually undid the exhaust cam as well. Uh, I wasn't planning on it because I've read a couple how to's where people don't, um, but then a lot of people recommend it so that you can get even slack or even tension in your chain. Obviously, my my chain tensioner still has that little green pin down there, so it's still still loose. But anyway, I ended up loosening this up. Then you have to replace the washer behind it as well, which is like another $12 washer. If you don't loosen it, you don't have to replace it. But in the interest of getting even chain tension, I decided to go for it. So we're actually going to pull this tensioner pin. So we can see that. So the green thing, here we go. And it's out. Uh, kind of like a really long push pin. It's not sharp though, it's rounded. Interesting. Alright, so that popped out. It appears that it's out about two. Let's see if you see that. Tension looks like it's out it's about two, two little notches. Focus on that. Yeah, two, maybe it's on the third. Uh, the old one I took out, I didn't look like my chain was stretched. They were about the same length, but the tensioner that I took out, I took a picture of it. I think it was out on the fifth or maybe the sixth one, um, which obviously happens over time. I'm only at 57 or 58,000 right now, so uh, my chain looked really new, to be honest, and my tensioner that I pulled out looked uh, well it was only about halfway out some people said they pulled theirs out and it was well really far out like all the way so anyway now I have that applying tension on the chain okay those are sharp <laughs> So you want to loosen up both these bolts, they kind of tighten themselves as you turn it. And so you give this a couple of turns. So obviously down there, nothing's tightened. The uh, uh, the crank pulley bolt, the crank pulley's not on there. So this uh, timing chain sprocket is just spinning freely. So. Oh. People say give this a couple of turns through. I'll just spin it back to my alignment mark, which is right here. See that gold mark made. Um, some people said you need to align this. In fact, the manual says you need to align the VVT, just how it was uh, in relation to the cams. So I made a mark on the old one, transferred it to the new one, and there it is. Um, a couple of people on the forums honestly said they've never aligned one and they've never had a problem. Uh, but I'm going to take no risks. So, how's that for chain tension? This is my new chain. Let's test it. Let's get down here. Seems pretty, uh, pretty even, pretty tight. So, great. Um, glad I did that. One thing I am worried about, however, is, uh, now you have to tighten the cams down. So, I just spun it through so it has made itself, uh, evenly tensioned. So I'm just going to finger tight these. You see the cams shifting in a little bit. Um, my only concern, however, is when you tighten this cam, it will... I feel like it's going to turn a bit. You know, like it's going to turn 
ever so slightly that way, so which will add a little bit less tension between the cams and make a little more tension down here. Uh, but that's assuming that these two cams both don't turn. So if this one turns and this one turns, the exhaust turns when I tighten it. If the VVT doesn't turn, then that will make uneven tension. If I turn this cam, or tighten this bolt, and the VVT also turns, uh, I'll get my little mark will be slightly off, um, which I don't want. But also, if they both turn, then the tension will be equal. It'll stay equal. So I'm going to try to go ahead and do this. Uh, let's just see if see if I can get this going without either of the cams moving when I tighten them. You saw it jolted a little bit. That's just because there's the ever so slightest play in the cam alignment plate. Um, there shouldn't be, but there is just a little bit. So, okay. Well, the sprocket didn't turn, so that's good news. I'm going to make the assumption then, uh, since the exhaust sprocket didn't move when I tightened it, that the VVT also won't move, which means that my chain tension that I just worked so hard to get and even out should stay even. Great. <laughs> 